Having secured myself a base and now having enough food to last me f at least for a month, I decided to start looking for a generator. I decided to look near some residential houses as that's usually where garages spawn and therefore where I'd have the best chance of finding a generator. This first store was some kind of a general purpose store. It had a lot of loot in it but nothing was really too special. After driving up the street a little bit, I found a bar of sorts. Of course, these have alcohol, but also have a chance to spawn in guns. For the most part, if you're gonna go to a bar, you're gonna look for alcohol, obviously, and for bourbon specifically, because it can be used to make Molotov cocktails. Baseball bats are some of the best weapons in the game in my opinion. Especially with my mod selection, considering the amount of variants I can make. While the bar did have some kind of storeroom, all the food in there was rotten and ultimately unusable. At least there were plenty of cigars. Going outside, I could tell that I was deep into the city. There was some kind of a parking lot in front of me, even though I couldn't really tell because of all the snow. There was a large building here, with legal services and an adult education center. I highly doubt there was any loot of value in there, so I didn't check it out. Even though there was a nearby Enigma books, I didn't loot that either because I just don't need books. I have a lot of them already, probably more than I'll ever use. I entered a nearby large building, not expecting to find much, but I then noticed that there was a garage out the back, so I went to check it in case there was a generator spawn. There wasn't, but thankfully Raven Creek has a lot more houses and garages for me to explore. Since I didn't have a watch, I would have to go off the daylight, and seeing how it was starting to become dark, I decided to head back for the day. Even with all the negative driving traits, the Jap Rungle is astoundingly fast. Back at my base, I started to put away everything I had looted today. It wasn't a lot, but it was a good amount. Now I had definitely more than enough food to survive. My number one goal was going to be to find a generator now, as every night I was essentially in complete darkness. The same applies to the darkness events, of course. And if I can't see anything, there's a better chance of me dying. Waking up the next day, I lost basically no time. I ate breakfast and got right into my car, ready to explore once again.
I decided to stop by a residential area. Statistically, this is going to be where the most garages are and where the most rolls for spawning a generator are going to occur. So I killed a few of the zombies that followed me, which thankfully weren't a lot, and started looking around. While looking through one of the garages, I not only found a lot of metalworking garbage, but I also found a bow. If I had more arrows, it would be pretty cool to use this, but for the time being, I didn't have anything for it. Additionally, I found some makeshift weaponry. Well, only some ammo and some magazines for now, but if I ever found an M16, at least I knew that I would have ammo for it. Even if it was basically made of junk. The problem being that I had found exactly two arrows for the bow, so it wasn't really useful for too long. I kept going up this street. I didn't really feel like taking my car here since it was such a small area and I feel like it would attract more zombies than it's worth it. But at least I found a free crowbar on a zombie. I then found another crowbar inside this house, right before going to check out the garage, which once again had no generator. But at least it had some alcohol and a new exosuit I could use. Since I was getting pretty sick of waking up every day with neck pain, I decided to just steal this bed. Once again, judging by the light level outside, I decided to go home. This day felt pretty short, but at least I got myself a bed and had gotten some loot out of this. Still no generator though. On my way back, I stopped by this large food market that had fully armored windows. I was hoping to see maybe if the door didn't have armor, but it did. So there was no way in for now. After reaching my base, I decided to actually check out my car's mechanics. Turns out the hood was really bad and the engine was only at 50% quality more or less. This meant that if I could find a mechanic shop to start replacing and fixing some parts, I would be in a much better spot than I am right now. Regardless, I decided to go indoors and picked one of the bathrooms to turn into my bedroom. I decided on the lower bathroom since it didn't have a huge ugly stain in the middle of the floor. Before placing down my bed though, I decided to do a little bit of working. I decided to remove all the toilets from the bathroom because I just didn't want to sleep near toilets. This zombie also had a watch. This is the first time I've been able to tell what time it is in the entire series. After deconstructing all the toilets, I decided to deconstruct the sinks as well.
now finally having an actually decent place to sleep, the base was starting to come together. The next day started out enveloped in a thick fog. Of course, with my mod pack, I wasn't going outside. That just meant it was time to start reading up some recipe skill books. And read I did. In fact, I read every single skill magazine I had left. By this point, I had so many recipes learned that it would be actually horrible to open the building menu. But unfortunately, I had really nothing better to do than to learn things while I was stuck in here. After all, I would much rather be sitting here staring at paper than outside getting jumped by zombies. Somehow, some zombies kept pathfinding over here, which wasn't great. But it wasn't enough zombies to worry me, either. Soon enough, the fog had already dissipated. I had lost quite a bit of the day, but I still had enough time to go out and explore a bit. Earlier I had found this little neighborhood which had a ton of garages. If I was gonna find a generator anywhere, it would be here. I seemed to be having no luck. None of these houses had a generator, but thankfully, there were a lot more garages nearby. Finally, I had found the generator I needed. Now that I had a generator, I wouldn't really have to worry about being in the darkness anymore. I still had quite a bit of fuel left from my first car. I was going to use that to fill up the generator for the first time. If I ever felt that I needed more fuel, I could simply turn on the gas station and get infinite fuel from that. Checking the generator info shows me that I have about 9 days of fuel but it's mostly being used by fridges, which I don't need since the only food I'll get is going to be canned food. After placing all the three fridges outside of the generator's range, I go back to check and... I now have 138 days of fuel from a single jerry can. For the first time I'm able to go indoors and actually see things at night, since now I have my brand new functional lights. The 
bathroom lights don't work for some reason, but that doesn't really matter. They're small rooms, so I can just put in some lamps later. Needless to say, getting a generator was possibly the biggest upgrade possible to my base. Even with all the lights turned on, I still have 69 days worth of fuel. All in all, today was a success. Now that I had the generator, I decided that I should probably go and turn on the gas station for a bit just so I could stockpile some more gas. You can never have too much, at least in the apocalypse. The next day I woke up too early to go out exploring, which wasn't great, but that's just a side effect of the traits I have. After all, it's better to be awake too much than to be asleep too much. I decided to just organize some things around the base until it got light enough outside for me to go around the city. For the first time I was able to actually cook myself a meal instead of eating some canned garbage. Although of course, uh, rice with hot sauce isn't exactly the greatest meal ever, but it was food nonetheless. Soon enough morning came and I got right into my car had a lot of business to do around the city, but first I would have to unload everything I got yesterday. While searching the area, I accidentally found a car shop. I then ran into a zombie which almost crashed my game for some reason. I decided to loot the auto shop. After all, my jeep needed some repairs. But I think I'll leave that for next time.